Hello, everybody. Uh, so what are your thoughts on the COVID-19 coronavirus, Mr. Farley in the background there? Um, are you worried? Are you scared? I think there's a lot of people that's going to be more paranoid than anything. People are paranoid because they're running out to buy all this toilet paper. And, and what does toilet paper have to do with it? I went to Walmart on Wendover Avenue today. And they literally have no toilet paper on that big aisle. Mr. Furley, he wants my attention. He was perfectly quiet until I started doing this. Anyway, people are panicking. Somebody along the way has said something about toilet paper and got people all spun out of control and paranoia. And now people are hoarding it. For what? It doesn't make any sense to me. They say if you're older than 60, if you have heart issues or if you have lung issues, then it could be an issue for you, and I'm all, I'm, I'm all three. Oh, and they also say too, if you're diabetic, I'm not diabetic. Um, my brother has lung issues and heart issues too, and he's a diabetic. So, and he's older than me. So, but he lives in a small town. So, I think it's less likely to affect a small town than it is uh, a metropolitan city. I live just a few blocks down from the Greensboro Coliseum, and the ACC was there. First, they were going to play without an audience and just allow uh, family members and the press. Then they said they weren't even going to allow family members and press. They were going to play, but they wasn't going to allow anybody in there. And then today, they just packed it up and said they weren't going to play. So... A lot of things are closing down. I'm wondering if this is going to have an effect on the economy. That's that's my worry more than the virus itself is the economy. They're telling people work from home if you can. That's only for corporate people. People that work in restaurants, grocery stores, hospitals, nursing homes, they can't work from home. They have to be out there in it. And that's worrisome because... A lot of those jobs don't offer sick time. They don't offer sick pay. I believe that any place you work, if you develop COVID-19, that the government should pay you sick pay. It shouldn't be put on your employers to pay you sick pay because they're going to be losing money too. And I think that the government should pay it. There's going to be some people, though, out there working that's going to try to take advantage of the situation and call out sick, even when they're not sick. I don't believe you should be paid in an instance like that. I believe you should have an actual diagnosis. The doctor tell you how long you're going to be out of work, and the government should pay you for your wages for what you're making now. And I don't think that your employer should have a right to dismiss you or to fire you or to cut your hours because of it. And it's easy for companies and people to say, if you feel bad, stay home. When I worked at the nursing home before I retired, it had gotten so bad there that they, I mean, they had cut so many staff that we were down to working with two in the kitchen until lunchtime. Just me and the cook. Now, what if I felt bad and I had to call out the cook? Can't do everything on her own. And management don't come in at 9 o'clock. So then what's going to happen? How would the old people eat? You don't want to leave your uh, your fellow workers stuck with being short. And they used to put signs up every winter at the home where I worked at. that said, if you feel bad, stay home. But yet when you called out, you got in trouble. I was always pretty healthy. I never called out. I worked there 18 years. And the first 10 years I was there, I never called out, not one time. And then I had a heart attack in 2010, and I've had three other heart attacks since then. But at the same time, that's the only time I was ever out. 
is when I was in the hospital for heart-related issues. I felt bad sometimes, and I went to work. But it was nothing uh, major, you know. I don't think I've had the flu. I don't know when the last time I had the flu was. I think I was in Virginia the last time I had the flu, and I've been down here for 25 years. So... Do you work someplace to where you can easily call out of your job? And do, who do you think should pay you your sick time? Should the government pay it or should your employer pay it? If your employer already pays you sick time, then, then yeah, they should pay you. See, at the home I worked at, we were fortunate enough to get sick time. Um, every time I was out, I was always out almost two months. And I never missed a payday. I was always paid. But the last couple of years that I worked there, our department was taken over by health care services. And so instead of getting my paycheck from the home itself, I started receiving my pay from health care services. And they didn't offer all that. They offered uh, five days sick time, one week vacation. Whereas when I was being paid by the home, I was getting, I had like almost three months sick time accrued every year and uh, four weeks vacation. So that hurt a lot when healthcare took over. But last I heard, they're not there anymore. So maybe everybody there will get their sick time back. Um, but anyway, yeah, I posted some pictures of myself in the aisle, toilet paper aisle, on Facebook, and there is no toilet paper there at all. I'm still shaking my head on that. I just, I'm bump fuzzled. <laughs> I don't understand. So what's your theory on that? Uh, one of my Facebook friends had said, um... Because I asked the question, what was up with the toilet paper? And she said, because, Ev Ree Fowler is her name. And she says, because every time somebody coughs, everybody else shits their pants. <laughs> That's as good as answer as any. Maybe it's true. <laughs> anyway, y'all excuse my messy room. And this is my table over here. I got my shopping bags on there because I just came back from Walmart. Now, there's not any toilet paper in it, but... And you can see my earring tree back there on the back. That's where my earrings are hanging and my earrings and my necklaces. Actually, I've got on a uh, my necklace and earrings that I make. My cross. And my earrings. But anyway, I was hoping to get to a craft show this year because I've got tons of jewelry to sell. And... Um, I was really hoping my sister-in-law was going to come down here and she and I were going to go to a craft show and she was going to help me sell my stuff. But who knows if they'll even have craft shows this year. But one good thing about jewelry, it don't expire and it'll be here next year. So, and I hope I'm here next year. <laughs> well, anyway... Anyway, so give me your thoughts on, on why there's a toilet paper um, shortage. And until next time, bye-bye.